If we conclude, we did quite a number of sums based on arithmetic progressions. We started with the formula, then finding the term, formula for in general of arithmetic pro progression, that is a, a plus d and so on and so forth, a plus 2d. We finding the term, which is tn, which is a plus n minus 1 into d. Arithmetic mean problem, whereas the middle term x is nothing but average of the extreme sum of AP, which is Sn n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d, as well as n by 2 into a plus n. Sum of natural numbers, that is Sn, which is n into n plus 1 upon 2. And sum of, let's add this, sum of squares of natural numbers, which is going to be n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 upon 6. And sum of cubes, we did, of natural numbers. which is n into n plus 1 by 2, the whole square, sum of cubes of n natural numbers, sum of squares of n natural numbers and sum of n, n natural numbers. And sum of n odd natural numbers is going to be just n square. So this is just additionally we did all these things as well. And then we did the miscellaneous problem, that is better applications of arithmetic progression. So we have this as a sum of n odd numbers, sum of cubes of natural numbers, sum of squares. And just before taking up this, also remember what we did about consecutive terms, five consecutive terms, what do we take them as, three consecutive terms, what do we take them as, two, four consecutive terms, six consecutive terms, what can we assume the terms of that? arithmetic progression as. So this is how we can take up questions based purely on arithmetic progression.